Hey, good afternoon everyone. Jake Weidenbach here with my bro worker, Ben Jannon from Nash Power Sports. We're in Belfair State Park right now after a fun day of riding. Uh, we got a fun little assignment. We got to try out a brand new motorcycle. Just take it out, ride it, put it through its paces and tell you all what we think of it. And it's this bike right here, the Moto Marini Xscape 650. Uh, Moto Marini, they're a manufacturer from Italy. They've been around since 1937, but they've got a line of motorcycles now that are gonna be available in the US. Uh, there's four models. This is the adventure model. There's a scrambler. There's a naked sport bike and a cruiser. They're all kind of built on the same chassis and they all have this little gem of a 650 cc parallel twin it's sourced from kawasaki so uh, it's based on the engine that kawasaki uses in a lot of their machines it's a really proven motor it's pretty good for this bike it's um i gotta say i didn't know what to think of this bike i i had no expectations going into this uh all of the things i have to say about this bike are mostly good we played with it uh, in some sport touring settings, you know, ripping around on some curvy roads by the water. Uh, ran it down some fire roads out to the high steel bridge. In Shelton. And then now we're back here in Belfair. Um, what'd you think of the bike, Ben? I found it to be highly favorable motorcycle. Um, very much a surprise. Uh, found it to be very capable on road. Uh, found it to be enjoyable off road. Um, that's from an enthusiast standpoint. From myself as a sales professional at Nash for the last four years, I think this is going to be a huge hit for our customers um, because of uh, its price point, its performance, and its low seat height. I've had a lot of older customers, more mature customers that have really wanted a simple uh, adventure touring type motorcycle for a low price point. And this motorcycle does this very, very well. Uh, not only let's, did I... Let's talk about that price point. So MSRP on this bike is 79.9 and there's a thousand dollar rebate right now so you can score this machine for 69.9 which i will say bang for the buck that is an aggressive price in 2024 and there's a lot of cool things about this bike that make it worth that money and then some um for one it's got really cool styling i think it's a good looking bike it has a really cool looking face. It's got really nice LED lights. Uh, the red paint pops in the sun. And it's got some good hardware. You know, it's got the Kawasaki 650 parallel twin, which is a great motor. It's got Brembo brakes with braided lines. Uh, you seldom see those kinds of brakes on a bike at seven, you know, six, seven grand. Um, it's got a nice comfortable seat. Ben mentioned the low seat height. He's a good inch and a half, two inches shorter than me, and he was flat-footed on the bike with his knees bent. So, um, what are you, 5'9", five, 5'10"? Five, yep. Okay, so low seat height, that's gonna be really user-friendly for a lot of people. It's um, It's got Pirelli Scorpion tires, which, I mean, I was, I was getting after it in the twisties. Yes, you were. Um, <laughs> you know, those tires are great. Um, and they were decent on the gravel roads, too. You know, like if you're gonna do more than gravel roads, I would say you're gonna have to do a few mods to this bike, but that's the case with just about any adventure bike. I mean, that's my KTM 890 adventure right there. And I've certainly bolted a lot of hardware to that to make it up to the task for what I want it to do. Um, let's get the elephant out of the room or address the elephant in the room. It's not a KTM 890 adventure. So 
Um, this right here is going to be a great commuter bike. It's going to be fun for sport touring and it's going to be good for light duty off-roading. Uh, if you want to do more than light duty off-roading, you're definitely going to have to do some things to this. Starting with a bash plate because this right here is the exhaust which is exposed to a hit from a rock or a stump. So you're going to want to get a good metal plate to protect that. Um, and you're going to want to put some crash protection on the bike, you know, some hand guards and something to protect the bodywork if it fell over. But if you do do that, I think you've got a pretty solid adventure touring bike. I think 100% uh, as well. I really found um, the bottom and first gear to be quite peppy even. Uh, this was a great bike all the way around on the road uh, and would be really interested to see how capable it is off-road with the appropriate um, safety um, hardware. accessories, hardware for the bike, yep. It's got two modes so they kept it simple it's got a road mode and an off-road mode and basically the off-road mode disables the rear abs i did feel a little bit different throttle response i don't know if the power characteristics changed at all it just felt like the throttle response changed slightly um but yeah i mean we were we were cooking pretty decent on a gravel road and it felt good. The suspension, you know, you're not gonna wanna jackhammer through uh, really bumpy sections at high speed. I mean, I do it on that bike, but this is a bike that's gonna be great for overnight camping, you know, doing a road trip, uh, commuting to work. And I think it excelled as um, a back road weapon, you know, like on the curvy roads by the water. That's where I thought it was doing its best work, you know, dipping through the corners. It definitely leans quickly from side to side. It holds a line through the turn and the brakes were impressive. You know, those are Brembo's. Um, Brembo's the, the gold standard for brakes. So I think this bike's got a lot going for it, especially being, you know, seven, eight thousand dollars. Yeah, and maybe if I could add a, a quick tidbit, well, I don't know the exact weight offhand, it, it definitely felt like while I was riding it, uh, both on-road and off-road, I felt very comfortable with its uh, weight. It's got uh, all LED lighting all the way around. It's got a six-speed transmission. The seat was really comfortable. And I think I would probably you know, change the foot pegs and... You know, come think, every time we stopped, everybody that saw it was gawking at it. They're asking questions. It looks good. Yeah. It looks like a more expensive bike. It definitely has some, some Italian flair to it. <laughs> um, but you know, it's weird because this bike, it's an Italian manufacturer. It's got a Japanese engine and it's manufactured in China. So. This bike's manufactured by CF Moto. That wouldn't alarm me at all based on what I know, and it shouldn't alarm you because CF Moto is a juggernaut in, in the motorcycle industry. They actually manufacture bikes for a lot of different companies, and they've been making parts for more prominent manufacturers for a long time. So um, actually CF Moto, truth be told, <laughs> builds that bike right there, and I think that's an amazing motorcycle. That's my favorite bike that I've ever owned. So um, yeah. I'd say that this is a winner and I think we're gonna sell a bunch of these at Nash. Yeah, so we, you, you got dependability and Italian styling, uh, styling, I should say, Italian style, uh, styling. <laughs> you could edit that out, right, Jake? <laughs> I'm gonna have to. Anyway, guys, have a great day. If you have any questions, hit us up. Uh, yeah, as of right now, we are a Moto Marini, Modi, Moto Marini dealer at Nash Power Sports in Auburn. They're actually gonna be sold at the Indian store right next to us, that's our sister store. So have a great day and hit us up if you have any questions.